All right, so more London probably, yeah? Yeah. Thank you, man, for subscribing. So this weekend, we're going to have the simul. We're returning to the usual schedule. Um, yeah, I was thinking about getting some, some rest, but... Uh, yeah. I need to finish my third volume, man. I feel guilty. I feel very guilty about not finishing it. I mean, my publisher is nice, but he's he doesn't have like forever patience. Uh, but half of my book is done. Okay, that at least that is good news. You know, half of the book is done. I'm very happy about that. So. That's, I am ecstatic. Um, the problem is, okay, trade is good. I mean, if you give me, give me the A file, I'm pretty happy, man. This is A file. If you have a piece, it's only a piece on the open file, you should be pretty damn happy, okay? So now we have to complete our development. Uh, unless you want to take, probably. So let's castle first. Because if I take, he can take with the bishop, and uh, the, if he managed to trade my knight, actually, I'm not happy. Because, you know, this is a semi closed position. You need the knights, okay? Knights can potentially go here and hit some uh, pawns, especially if you play queen a3, rook a1, and then you, you know, infiltrate. Yeah, this a file will be very, very important, especially with this bishop controlling the square later. Okay. All right, so let's grab this and let's hit this bishop. Okay. So. The big question now. Yes, what is this e5? Um, all right, so bishop here. Take, take. You take with this pawn, obviously, because now it's Karlsbad. It's not a bad Karlsbad for white. I'm just queen a3. Queen a5 is very interesting, but queen a3 is probably the best. Yeah, make sure you don't blunder stuff like bishop d4. Yeah, that's pretty standard. So, as I said, the knight can go to c5. works I'm not sure yeah you have that yeah he's very accurate actually this national master is very accurate So we need to make a loft, okay? And also take away the square from the bishop, but then it's kind of important. I blundered the pawn. Crap. Yeah, I always report this guy. Yeah, this guy is always uh, starting to play some first line moves, which is total bullshit, of course.
Look at this knight d5. Prevents rook a7, and now he can push this pawn. I'm not sure he plays d4. I mean, why would he play d4? You know, his position is incredibly solid. Why would he play d4? Just to demonstrate that he is not playing the engine. You're going to get reported anyway because I know I know there's something fishy about your play, man. Yeah, he's gonna put the bishop here. Maybe. Alright, perfect play, perfect play, man. Fuck you, man. You you reported. This guy is reported for cheating, man. This is 99% case, okay? Because he resigned, you know, because it was pretty obvious. It's just, you know, the most obvious endgame story that uh, this guy was, you know, 99%, you know, unfair, unfair player. All those forks just in time, just everything he does is just perfect in time with calculation. And he's down to seconds, he plays perfect moves, okay? And he sees everything, all the tactics with seconds on the clock. This is just freaking impossible. You know, all the grandmasters, including Nakamura, Kurana, even Magnus, down seconds on the clock, they just blunder stuff, okay? This guy doesn't, and he is, is, is a freaking national master, he's, uh, I don't care, they should actually uh, actually do an in, in investigation on this person, and, and if they find him of something serious, they should just fucking ban his ass. That's what I think. I don't care. This guy should be investigated. He's 2100. Okay, give me a fucking break. He's year 2004. All right. He, that means he is what, 20? He is 19, right? Okay. All right, buddy. You're lucky that you live in Russia. You know, there is, uh, you know, otherwise you'd just be banned. <laughs> 